Spring bulk day five, baby. Today we're doing freaking abs. But before we do that, we're gonna weigh ourselves. Okay, well, I mean, I'm gonna weigh myself. You guys aren't weighing yourself. Uh, but boys, let's see what the scale says. Put on it. All we got on is the boxers. And keep in mind, I'm holding my phone while I weigh myself. 168.6. That's how you gotta do it, baby. We're already we're already up massively. Starting weight was 155. I was depleted. I was in a uh, pencil neck state. But we're getting we're getting out of that, boys. We are getting out of the poverty pencil neck mentality and going into the the bulk mode. Superhero, Superman, you know, Captain America, Incredible Hulk, freak build. You know what I'm saying? So. We got a, oh yeah, I'm going to take my measurements. So, here, let me, let me post you up. Uh, it's going to take one second. All right. You guys can see what I got going on here. So, I'm hoping that the measurements are pretty accurate because, as some of you may know, uh, muscle size can be artificially increased just from residual information. Uh, and like if you're really sore, here let me get a light on. If you're like really sore, chances are you probably got a lot of inflammation in the muscle and that can give you a bigger measurement than you actually have. But I'm not even going to think about that. So let's see what the bust size is. My bust is probably my worst overall measurement. I want to I wanna get like a 50 inch bust. I'm thinking we could get like a 48 inch bust by the end of this bulk. But right now it's about... 43. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right at 43. Uh, so that's not bad. It's actually a little bigger than it was before. It was like 42. So, uh, I mean, that initial weight gain on the bulk goes crazy. Let's see the arm measurement, boys. I gave, I gave you guys a pumped measurement before. Uh, old bicep pump only measurement was like 16 and a half. So, probably 17 pumped. Which means, oh wow, hold on. Mm, can you guys see that? 16, cold, you guys see it. Uh, uh. So, let's get a little tighter, yeah. You guys see that. Uh, so, that's for the right arm. Left arm usually has been about the same and in some cases slightly bigger. So, let's see. You guys see that? 16. Uh, left forearm. My forearms, I'd say, are definitely a strong point. I mean, dude, I freaking wrist curled 100. You know what I'm saying? So, easily growing them lately. Cold measurement, almost 14. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh... Which is interesting because it was like 14 pumped the other day. So who knows? Maybe I was measuring it wrong. And then. Uh, for this. Yeah, this is right at 14. I don't know if you guys. Uh, see that. There you go. And then. Yeah, so 16, 16. Basically 14, 14. And. Uh. Arms are even, boys. They're pretty much perfectly symmetrical, which is pretty good. So, I mean, a 16-inch cold measurement, dude, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, this is the beginning of the bulk. So, dude, I mean, imagine, mm, I'm so excited. All right, so I'll, this is going to be a nice document, by the way. So I could just look back on this video instead of, like, writing down my measurements somewhere. I can actually just look back and be like, oh, my arms grew this much or forearms this much or whatever. So... I also, I think the measurement I want to increase most, boys, and this will be the easiest to see, is my, I forget what this is called, but it's like around your shoulders, right? I think this is like around the midpoint. So around my shoulders. It's basically like your bust measurement, but just including your shoulders also. So let me see. This is 48. Oh, come on. But you guys you guys can see that still. We have to move the camera anyway, boys. So, oh, yeah. Let's see. 
for for just for fun. Let's see the neck measurement. This is actually one of those measurements I want to keep small because I don't I don't want a CPAP or anything like that. Uh it's right about 16. That's not bad. That's at like the midpoint of my neck. I could stretch it out, but that's stupid. All the measurements I take are usually like, you know, kind of flexed anyway. Well, for my arms, but not really for anything else. 16 about. That's not that tight though. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So the arms flexed are the same size as my neck. That kind of makes sense. All right, then head measurement now. Let's think. Oh, yeah, waist. This is actually something, believe it or not, I actually want to keep down to an extent. Oh, you see my little belly here. So, I want to get the waist down to like, or not down, sorry. <laughs> I want to keep it smaller than it was last bulk. So, last bulk, I took my waist measurement. I always take my waist measurement around my belly button, right? Obviously, you're supposed to take the waist measurement right here because that's where people wear pants but i kind of just go based off how far my is my gut protruding you know what i'm saying so if i take the measurement the big way and i do it around my belly button it ends up being you guys see that 33 inches which is actually crazy because it was 34 for a very long time. So this is the smallest my waist has ever been at this weight, which is already an amazing sign, boys. Ah! Ah! Okay, enough screaming. All right, now we got to do the leg measurements too. Uh, I always sit on my chair when I do this. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just easier to uh, standardize, right? So, hold on. All right, let's get a loud going here. Legs are obviously looking kind of huge. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Will you guys still be able? All right. That looks kind of weird, but gosh, dude, my leg is just apps like it's huge, bro. Look at my freaking leg. Holy crap. Oh. Uh... You guys see where I'm measurement, measuring it around the midpoint? It's 23 inches. Man, that's kind of hard to show. Hold on. You guys can see that, I guarantee it. All right. And then left leg should be the same story. My left leg might be getting bigger these days because I've been prioritizing my left leg. So let's see. By the way, this isn't a flexed measurement. This is literally just me, like, sitting with my leg there. Flexed is, like, a quarter inch bigger, though. I don't know why flex doesn't really affect the leg size that much. Uh, about the same. I mean, it's a little smaller. It's, like, 22 and 3 quarters. 15 and a half. Left calf. Okay, that's a little weird. Left calf is a slightly bigger, slightly. I mean, literally like this much. So, we got freaking, I mean, all the major measurements I could think of. All of the major measurements that I could think of. Uh, leg side profiles looking pretty gnarly, right? Like I could just do a little squat. You guys could see the abundance of quadricep size you can see how big my freaking forearms are in the tricep okay throw that measuring tape back and uh boys i mean we still got a workout to do i gotta put on pants first but yeah i mean the whole reason i ain't been wearing pants this whole time is just because freaking i had to weigh myself you know what i'm saying but anyway i mean bodybuilders don't wear pants all the time you know that's just kind of reality of being a bodybuilder and being, I mean, really being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm like 40 years old, when I'm like 40 years old, you know, I mean, you think I'm going to be wearing pants around the house? Probably not, man. Just probably, probably a nice pair of boxers and that's about it, man. You know, scratching my belly button or something, being a weirdo. 
living the American dream. So, uh, we got, I mean, little known fact about my freaking, um, my, my amazing room. I got an entire bench set up. Okay. And I also got a stack of hefty weight plates. Okay. Hefty weight plates. And they're in my closet and they're going to take a good amount of time to get out. I'm going to make it my goal to have as few cuts as possible in this video. I know you guys can hear all the clicking and clacking of the metal. Of all this random junk. Well, actually, it's not junk. It's a wonderful bench. All right. So, by the way, just a little, little tour real quick. We got freaking, we got Arnold up here. This is one of my favorite poses to do. I enjoy this pose. Then this is a picture of Arnold that I drew. Okay. I actually really like this picture. I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, and then this is a picture of kind of... I drew over my own self in a picture. And then I kind of increased my own size. So this is kind of like a goal physique for the future. Pretty, pretty, not, pretty neat shape if you ask me. I mean if I looked like that... I'd be happy, but I, I think the only thing I'd really want more is just like lower hanging lats to pop out more. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I mean, it looks cool. And then over here, we got a signed picture of uh, Daddy Noel. Uh, I mean, dude, meeting him was a cool experience. You know, I freaking, he was the nicest guy ever. You know what I'm saying? He was, uh, he gave me a bunch of time. He actually talked to each person in the line for like a couple minutes. And he was just so freaking nice, dude. I mean, he he wasn't just like, oh, let me sign your picture and you know you can get out of here. No, he was super nice. And then, boys, this is this is kind of my brothers, but he met Malcolm Butler. Okay. And he caught the game winning touchdown in the Patriots versus Seahawks Super Bowl a long time ago. Well, not really a long time ago, but a while ago. Anyway. That's just a little wall tour, but in the meantime, boys, I will admit fully that I'm procrastinating setting up the bench and getting out the weight plates, but I'll do it for you guys, and I will, I will uh, set up, I'll set up Godzilla and Raiden for you guys to watch while I, uh, you know, finagle my closet, all right? There you go. I might speed this part up. All right. Oh God, that took a long time. Okay, the hardest part of stacking weight plates vertically in a closet is having to or like literally like reorganize them and move them all in just the weirdest ways possible. But anyway, we got the 35 here. Uh, this is what we're gonna do crunches with today. I got a little off track, I and mean, for some reason, I'm just gonna say this as a side note. The freaking headband gets me tired. When I wear something around my head, like a beanie or a headband, for some reason it makes me tired. I think it's because I always like wrap my blanket around my head whenever I'm sleeping and just leave some like room for me to breathe. You know what I'm saying? But that, I mean, that's maybe that's why it, it triggers like the tired mechanism in my head. I don't know, but I had to take that thing off. And, uh, yeah, boys, I mean, we're going to hit some crunches in a minute, but before we do that, I just want to celebrate. Uh, ah, flip the camera, flip the camera, flip the camera. We got the, uh, the Garfield movie, Nacho Pop Chips. I mean, this is going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, as the kids say. I didn't even realize I didn't have my mic on, but whatever, dog. We're going to eat that as a pre-workout snack, and then we're going to hit some rambunctious abdominal crunches. Ooh, that rhymed. It's about time. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Uh, we get the 35-pound plate. Not going to do anything crazy. Uh, usually when I do these, they hurt my spine. Oh, hello there. They hurt my spine whenever I do them. So, uh, I think I'm I just, it's just because I'm weak at them probably. So, I'm just going to find a way to, uh, you know, get stronger at them over time, you know. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I do that. All right, boys, I finally think 
that after lots of setup, okay, lots of reorganization, you know, discovering a guitar in my closet and whatnot, uh, you know, and some other things, that uh, the setup is going to have to be classic decline sit-ups, all right? Boys, it's been hours. It has been hours since I thought I was going to hit a workout, and my goodness, uh, this 35-pound plate feels extremely heavy. It feels, honestly, if I had to guess, like if I just pick this weight up off the rip, right? You're like, no looking at it, just all like just randomly off to the side. I would guess that it's like 60 just because of how it feels right now. But it's just because I'm not warmed up. You know what I'm saying? If you're not warmed up, then, uh, I mean, dude, it's, it's going to feel extremely heavy. So we got to get warmed up here. I'm going to do a couple crunches. I did a couple earlier just to test, but. All right, let's bring it a little closer. All right, this explains why my core is like flagrantly a weak point in my physique. You know, I don't have popping abs all the time. Part of that's because of fat distribution. I just store more fat around my core area, but I'd say a huge part of it is that my abs aren't that bulbous yet. So, you know, how do I get bulbous abs? Get stupid strong at crunches. How do I get big forearms? Get stupid strong at wrist curls, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, we got the 35 pounder here. I'm gonna add a rambunctious set. Let me see if any good songs are on. Workout playlist has been a little better lately, I guess, I don't know. Some of the songs are all right. I just kind of throw anything in that gets me remotely hyped for even a second. So, <sighs> three, two, exercise there's a learning curve and you have to find your groove right now for me for, for every exercise I've found that there's you're, you're the, the best way to do it takes a while to find and it's different for everybody right uh, like even the most minute differences in a preacher curl right can affect how the whole rep feels right am I gonna do it slightly more lean forward slightly lean back am I going to do it facing away like this and I'm not saying it's going to influence your bicep growth but doing it the way that actually feels the best like the most comfortable that's going to take a while and the same thing goes for like calf raises dude I think calf raises were the tr ah, okay cramp calf raises were probably one of the trickiest things for me in terms of <clears throat> finding a comfortable position to move a lot of weight from so you know I always talk about how important the stretch is in a calf raise but, and I would try to achieve that stretch, and I never felt like my feet were in a stable position during the stretch. I always felt like they would slip. Um, I never felt like the variations that I did were progressible. Uh, there was some downfall and some sort of balancing issue, and I fell in love with the freaking calf raise machine where you just sit there and kick your legs straight out. And uh, even then though, it's, that machine took me a while to get used to. Uh, and then I discovered the form for my body. I had to move my knees a certain way to get it to feel totally perfect. No slippage, no stability issue, balance is perfect, no 
chance of my leg buckling out or something. All good. You know, whatever. Whatever could happen. You get what I'm saying? Just, it's got to feel comfortable. So. Oh, frickin'. We got an ad. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? I'm here to get motivated. I'm not here to watch ads, buddy. All right. Anyway, that, that ad must have been going on for a hot minute. But, uh, oh, look, there's Tom Platts with a baby. That's wonderful. I got to meet this guy one day. All right, let's go. I'm losing my pump here. Three, two, one. That was getting hard. It was getting freaking difficult, dude. Oh my gosh. I got a ridiculous ab pump. Yes, we're gonna show the ab pump. Uh, all right, that was a pretty solid session. I didn't have to do anything absolutely insane to get some good work done. Uh, all right, the hardest part of this entire workout is gonna be putting the plate back in the closet in a very tight space. So, I'm actually freaking sweaty right now. Jeez. <clears throat> Sitting in that same spot, getting all heated up. Golly. <clears throat> Turn on the ceiling fan. What what video we got? We still got pump lights? Oh yeah, we got like a minute left. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but the abs are looking good right now. Okay, it's looking pretty diced and awesome. Uh, whoa. All freaking right. I will see you guys tomorrow. I might start hitting abs on my off days. We'll see though. But this is definitely the best day to hit abs, that's for sure. All right, I will see you guys.